Hey guys, it's me, Ms. Pastorius again, and I am here. We are going to do another uh, one point perspective project, but we're gonna do it from a different angle. We're gonna do it from like an ant's eye view. So we'll do one point perspective, but everything is going to be going up around us and we're gonna do some buildings up around us. So that might not make sense right now, but it will make sense soon. So I'm gonna go right to the middle of my paper and draw a dot, a dot that you probably can't see. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it an X, and I think that'll be a little bit more visible. Yeah, I can see it a little bit. So here's what we do after that. We're gonna take our ruler, and we're gonna cross through this dot with our ruler. And just draw a bunch of lines, and you can draw them close to each other or further away. These, believe it or not, are going to be our buildings. And we'll make them all different heights and things like that. And you can make as many as you want, as many as I guess will fit. So I've got these lines on my paper and I did them really lightly. I did that specifically so I'd be able to erase them. So that's something I want you to keep in mind that you're gonna have to erase some of these lines. I wanna teach you about a word called parallel. If you don't know what the word parallel means, I'm gonna tell you right now. It means that if the parallel lines, it's two lines, and if those two lines keep going on forever, they'll never cross each other. Think of like a railroad track. Uh, you have two lines for a railroad track, one on each side of the rail, and they'll never cross over because they both go perfectly straight. So we are going to draw a parallel line for the top of our building, and it's parallel with this line at the bottom of our paper. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna draw one here, and here, and here. And then if I have some over here, I'll draw one like uh, here, I'll draw some up here and maybe one more right here. And then I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm doing and what I mean so this makes a little bit more sense as we move forward. So I have a Sharpie here. I still have my ruler because I'm still going to use it. I'm gonna take my ruler and draw some of these lines. We'll do one more. I'm also going to put a little bit of an edge here and then I'm gonna pull that edge down like it's still lining up. I'm gonna line it up with our um, dot in the middle, which you may not remember, but you may remember is called our vanishing point. I'm coloring that in. one little clump of buildings that we have. I think we should put a couple more in there. Let's do these ones. Got a line here, line here, and a line here. And 
and I'm again gonna take my ruler and go So there are some other buildings we have. Let's do hmm, maybe two more. How about it? So we will do, let's do one over here. And we can do one over and then maybe we'll do one or two up here. You don't have to do as many buildings as I'm doing. I just want to fill up my paper. So then I'm doing the same thing, lining up my ruler right here with my vanishing point. And Again, this is another thing that if you want to add that shadowy little angle here, you just do a diagonal line down and again, lining it up with our vanishing point. We can shade that in and make that another shadow. So maybe you can see now that this is going to end up being a group of buildings. So yeah, I'm going to do another shadow. Maybe it's lined up with the vanishing point. I just want to make this shadow right here. There we go. That's a nice, quick, easy one. Wow, look at that. We have all those buildings going up. Well, we're not quite done yet. And this part is kind of where it gets complicated. So I want you to listen carefully for this. When we are drawing the windows for these buildings, we have to draw them in line with that vanishing thing. So I'm actually going to pull out a thinner Sharpie that I can use to do that. And this one works fine. So, I am still going through this part here when I draw my windows, this uh, vanishing point. And if it would be easier for you to do this in pencil first, or even just line it up with your lines, then that's okay too. Yeah, maybe I'll start it in pencil. I'm sorry guys. If I wanted to do a window, I still have to go through the vanishing point. So I'm gonna draw some lines here and up here. So I can make windows. And we're using that same idea with the parallel lines, doing lines parallel to the edge of our paper. So as we get closer and closer to the bottom, we get our windows. You can't really see those yet. Um, you know, if we go like this, we could even do our windows, you know, right with the edge of our paper. And say we have windows all throughout this building. Put 
the parallel lines and everything like that. Then, you can kind of see it there. I know where I'm going to draw those buildings. So, let me get a finer tip Sharpie. And I'm going to draw in some of those windows just by hand because they're a little bit smaller so you guys can see kind of how they look. Maybe you want to make your windows smaller, maybe you don't. Up to you. I'm ending up kind of wishing that I used a ruler for this, even though I thought it was all good and that I wouldn't need a ruler, but I think it would be nice to have one. Those are really big windows, but they still kind of look like floors to our little city that we've got here. So what if I were to do this here? Again, lining up with the vanishing point. Just throw tons in there. And line them up with the edges. And yeah, let me finish up these lines. One vanishing point. Never forget that vanishing point. And then say this is a bigger city skyscraper that I have here with more windows. Still lining this up parallel to my paper and getting going. So there's another building that I have with lots and lots of windows. So I try to vary up like uh, the styles of your windows. I'm gonna make these with slightly thicker lines. And I'm gonna take this line that I kind of messed up. And I'm gonna clean it up by just going over it with a ruler lined up with my vanishing point. All right. And there I have that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my buildings right now in a time lapse, just so you guys won't have to watch the whole time. And then I will get back to you. Okay guys, so I've got all of these different lines drawn in to my buildings and now it's really starting to look pretty nice. Um, once I get this all erased, I think it's gonna look totally fantastic. And this seems very hard. I feel like you look at this and it looks hard, but I know you guys can do this. All this really takes is some patience with your ruler, making sure you know where your vanishing point is, and just following directions the best you can. Now that I have all these buildings in there, I can start erasing these lines I have in the middle, and any smears and smudges. And I have that. Pretty cool, right? Um, because I want you guys to be patient with this project and to take your time, I think I'm gonna cut the video off for this week and then next week we will uh, color it in. So this is what I want from you this week. I just need all of those buildings done and ready to go. Try your best on this, take your time, and then next week, 
easy peasy. All you'll have to do is color this. You won't even have to outline it or anything because your building will already be outlined. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. This can be a really cool project. Just work hard. Remember, these are the shadows of the buildings. I kind of just didn't, I put, I put groupings of buildings together. I feel like it looks good. And then I put a shadow like on some of the edges here. I didn't really do that specifically in any way. Um, I just did the edge like curved like this because um, that's the way it looks on a box. That doesn't really have any technicality to it. You could even make lines around here thicker and just do that. So that's, that's all. This wasn't that hard. You can do it. Oh, one more thing. I added some of these little uh, parts at the top and I did those with the vanishing point as well. So if you wanna make little smaller top boxes on it, make sure you do the same thing where you measure it right up to your vanishing point. Boop, boop, boop. And yeah, the edges of these shadows also have to be in line with your vanishing point. So don't forget that. As long as you do that, it's gonna be a-okay. Just, it might even be easier to not think about this as buildings until it starts coming together. But maybe it would be easier for you to think about it as buildings to start. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I am actually kind of really pleased with how cool this ended up looking. So, woo, yeah. Another one point perspective project. Okay, that's all. You guys are gonna do great. I cannot wait to see these. They're gonna look so cool. All right, bye guys.